Hey guys, good morning from beautiful Lanier, Pennsylvania. The day is gonna get better when we stop for some coffee. Let's go. Ooh, the waffle iron. Me some fresh eggs this morning. We're late here coming to the breakfast buffet and she whipped me up some fresh ones. So very, very kind of her. And look how fluffy they are looking. So we are now just opening the store for the day. And I wanted to share with you guys those pieces that we worked on yesterday live over on Facebook. This is where I put them in the store. So how cool is it when you, um, you know, just use little pieces like this, whether you do vendor shows or just even around your house, just to create a layered look, just, you know, creates a little height off the table. How sweet is that with a little bit of pottery on top of it? These are all pieces that I found in my junk and thrifted travels. The other pieces I put, I layered here. Who remembers the vlog that I did with these milk jugs? It's right here on my channel if you missed it. And honestly, all the stuff that you see around here, I've painted live or done vlogs on, but look what it's sitting on top of, that little box that we painted yesterday in Sandy Tantos. And then right behind it, the same thing with this piece over here. Look how cool it is, nice and sunny out here. No greenery, no leaves on the trees, and it's pretty quiet here right now. It's actually, even though my store opens at 11, um, I just put the open sign in the window because we're here earlier today than usual. So if anybody would be poking around, but everybody's waking up and soon the town will fill up. That's the town center up there. Let's see here, like find the gazebo up there. And a little bit later today, I'm gonna be taking a walk up around to see one of my friends, Andrew and William with the Allegory Gallery. So in a few minutes, in a little bit, we'll head up there together. So Matt tells me that he thinks I'm the only person <laughs> that might still bring a mouse pad with them wherever they go. When I travel on the road and I'm doing business or I'm vlogging, I always bring my mouse pad with me. I love this thing and look at it. It's got that jelly gel filled wrist pad helper thingy that's really comfortable for your wrist. I swear, when I used to work in the corporate world, if you had a mouse pad or if you had one of those gel wrist pads that would run in front of your keyboard, you had it going on. I was always so jealous of the gel filled ones. You know what I'm talking about? These things here. <gasps> oh, and there's just such pure pleasure just from, I don't know what it is. It looks cool and it feels cool. It's the simple things, right? They keep you happy. But do you carry, do you still have a mouse pad and do you bring it everywhere? Or is it just me? I don't know. But if this is wrong, I don't want to be right. You, and what is your name? That's a little girl, right? Lexi. Oh my gosh, look, Lexi. How are you? Are you saying hello to me? Oh my good. Oh, she is so soft. Oh my goodness. And how old is she? She's about four and a half. Oh, lots of energy, huh? Look at you, look at you. And I'm getting y'all going now. Oh man, I wish I had puppy treats. Matt, you gotta touch this dog. You know how soft it is. Oh. 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 You smell my puppies, don't you? All right, let us head out a little bit. Got to see a whole bunch of people at the shop today. Matt's going to man the shop for me for a little bit. Now I'm gonna head up the road here. Got my coffee, got my bag of goodies on my arm here, and I'm gonna hang out with my friend for a bit. Ooh, she be loud. Oh, what a beautiful day it is today, guys. It's so nice um, that all the businesses are nestled around here, around the diamond, and that you can walk. So I enjoy when I'm here to work my shop a bit and then I try to get out as well and visit some other neighboring merchants. This is the beautiful view. Such a sunny day and the theater over here is, can you see it? It's literally glistening in the sunshine. We're gonna cross the road over here and head down there. And we are here. 
Ooh, I love that little trunk they have in the window there. How fun! Hello! Hey, how are you guys? So friends, this is the guest of honor today. So what do you think? It's a beautiful little vanity. Isn't she sweet? And I got my friends here. Introduce yourselves. I've already talked about you. Your ears should have been burning. <laughs> so where are we? And tell us a little bit about what you do. Well, we're here at Allegory Gallery in lovely Ligonier, Pennsylvania. My name is Andrew. And I'm William. And we're the co-owners and proprietors of Allegory Gallery. Oh my gosh, it's beautiful in here. And they sell beads, art, and jewelry. Should we show them a really yeah, quick spin around? Them. Yeah. So we're in the back room right now. So this, like I said, is the piece that we're going to work on. And where did you have this like in mind to put? What are your thoughts and what do you want to, what you want to do with this piece? The I'll window. follow you. So we've got these amazing windows out front. Yep. And, um, the color of the year, the Pantone color of the year, 2020, classic. is classic blue. So we're going to do all different shades of blue in the window. And um, yeah. Nice. I just see you got your shirt on. You want to do a spin? So that way nice. everybody's like, where do I find them? Nice. Right there. And you guys are on where? We're everywhere. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> We're on Facebook, Twitter, That's Instagram. At sign Allegory Gallery. Nice. And the website, allegorygallery.com. And of course, here on West Main Street. So nice. if you come and visit Sonia and Matt, you can Head over. swing by. For sure. So let's do a quick yeah. spin around. So now I know you guys have been junk monkey and some stuff in here already without my help, right? <laughs> Is this one of the pieces? Oh my gosh, love it. You guys did a beautiful job. Thanks. And white is just such a nice display mm -hmm. piece yeah. and keeps it feeling spacious. And that was a door Ooh. that we repurposed you did this one? a display <gasps> item. Oh, wow. And that's got a coat of the, the vintage white. Beautiful. Wow, you guys have been the busy. Cases. The bookcases too? Mm -hmm. They yeah. were red. red they cherry. were red? Red cherry. <gasps> Look at that. Everybody's looking at all the goodies that you have yes. in here. It's easy to get distracted. I'm here to paint and help you guys out. But I just want to look at all the good stuff as well. Nice look at this, guys. And Andrew over here. This is, okay. Yes. Oh, my goodness. I know my audience will appreciate this because they're a lot like me. And I love magical, happy, whimsical. Right? Oh, oh goodness. Well, for me, I kind of had lost my... Uh, holiday spirit for a while so I wanted to do some things where I researched different uh, traditions from around the world and so there's things from Italy, La Bafania, and the Nutcracker, and the, the Abominable Snowman. Okay this dude here, wasn't he in Narnia? <laughs> yeah, he was. Mr. Thomas, right? Yeah. <gasps> did you like that movie too? Uh, I did. I love the books too. C.S. Lewis wrote them and um, those were some of my favorites oh. growing up. So he's kind of like non-holiday specific, but <laughs> it's it was cool. snowing in Narnia, right? Ah, yeah. oh, you can watch Narnia any anytime. <laughs> Absolutely. I love the movie oh. version too. So beautiful. <laughs> so this is a space up here. You're thinking? Uh, probably the the window over here. It's kind of gold right <gasps> now. Are you going to keep those stars up? Probably. That would look gorgeous <laughs> with that blue. I may or may not have gotten inspired by your store. <laughs> Ooh, the gold stars? <laughs> yeah. They're gorgeous. So we'll oh, paint yes. That blue. Okay. Um, probably, is it the midnight blue? The midnight blue would be like the darker one. Yeah. And then Liberty. the Liberty blue is the more bright. You want to go with the bright? Is that what you're thinking? So I'm thinking of doing the walls in the midnight. Okay. <gasps> oh, then, yes. Because it'll pop a little bit more because we've got all the different lights in there. And then it will kind of have a nice dark background and make the Liberty Blue kind of pop. Beautiful. So, yeah. I see what you're doing there. I like <laughs> it. I highly approve. All right. So let's go back and work on that piece. We have a Salvation Army at, uh, just on Route 30. Uh, so pretty close by. Um, so we were pretty lucky to find this. Mm -hmm. Very nice. Okay, yeah. let's do it. So let's go ahead and clean it real lightly real quick. And okay. this is really good for getting off goo and more. Okay. And then we go to town. So last time you're looking at it right now, brownie frowny, are you sad to see it go? No, you're ready? All right. Is an 
now painted in beautiful Liberty Blue. And so it's drying right now. We helped it out a little bit with the use of the heat gun. So if you have one of those, that's awesome. So we get, went ahead and dried it. And now the next step is to do a little distressing and polishing. So when you polish a piece, you get rid of any like brush hairs. Um, you can sand the paint so it sits down nice and flat and buttery smooth and soft and looks really nice and professional. Gives you an awesome professional finish. And then we will seal real quick. But what do you guys think? Bye bye brownie frowny. Like Hello, classy blue. Right. You loving it? like it too. And the piece is finished. Dun, 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 dun. This blue is so happy, so vibrant, so pretty. I think it looks perfect. Blue is such a classy color, and this piece just demanded something classy. Look at those curves. So next week we're gonna work on this table back here and continue working on the bay windows that we got that we showed you guys. Well, that was fun. That blue looks so good on that piece, and it was just so nice to be able to hang out with Andrew and William today. It was teamwork makes the dream work. It looks so awesome, and I can't wait to see how their um, bay windows are gonna turn out. So we're gonna do it together right here in the vlog so you can continue to see it. So, so fun. All right, it's Saturday evening. The next thing to do is walk up to our shop, get ready. We are going to load in the van and head back north to our home. We're gonna do the trek. And the town yeah, looks nice. it's beautiful. Turn around, turn around. Should I show them the town? Yeah. Yeah. All right, you wanna see the town? We're out for a stroll. It's so quiet right now. I can smell steak though. Do you well, smell the steak? Right there. Is that what it is? I'm smelling steak? Such a pretty little town. We could just walk for miles. <laughs> Feeling good, but gotta make the drive home. Yeah. All right, guys, I'll see you guys again tomorrow morning. Oh, Thank you for shop. watching. Did you get distracted candy. by the candy shop over there? <laughs> There's everything. If you ever get to come visit the Junk Monkey, the ice cream. do ice a cream stroll shop. around town, yeah, all right? Cream. I will show them the ice cream store. One second. So thank you guys for watching. Be sure to subscribe to this video. Okay, I gotta show them that. <laughs> we missed the stretch limo that went around the gazebo over there. That was like the third one today. Oh, it's coming around again. All right, let's see. Is he going? Let's see here. Let's take a look. Look at that. Giant stretched limo. Hummer limo. Hummer limo, holy moly. Where do you get your license to drive that? Wow. Thank you friends for watching today's video. I'll see you guys again tomorrow here on the daily vlog. Take care and tell me, did you love that blue? Wasn't it so fitting for that piece? All right, see you tomorrow. Bye.